given in the tables we have uh, we have uh, uh, different activities starting from a to g and immediate precedents are given for a that is uh, there is no precedents for b that is a for c a for d c for e, for e that is d and for f b and e is there and for g f precedents are given and their completion time in week is given and total time is 28 So I advise all of you just note down these uh, examples and the data given in the tables. Then proceed to calculate or uh, draw the network diagram. Is it finished from your side? No, sir. Just note down for activities A the completion time is two weeks. For activities B the completion time is three weeks. Again for C that is three weeks. For D four weeks. For E eight weeks. For F six and for G that is two. And total time required for completion of the particular project that is known as twenty eight hours or twenty eight weeks. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So here is the network diagram. Because for a procedures there is no particular uh, sorry immediate procedure is given, so that's why I just write zero. And this is the second event that is known as A from A activities. The time is given two weeks, so that's why I write two by two. Is it clear? Just a minute. I copy no, this one. Sir, no, just sir. Just a... Okay, just a minute. Now it is visible. Yes, sir. Just a minute. Okay, you can see here. in case of a activities there is no immediate precedents so i maintain here zero the next one is for a activities the time sorry completion time is given 2 hours so i write a in bracket 2 weeks is it clear yes sir okay then you can see in case of immediate precedents a is connected to b activities again the same a uh, procedure is connected to c a to c and a to b is it clear you directly go to the second yes, column a to b and a to c so in case of b the completion time is given 3 weeks in case of c the completion time is given c is it clear Yes sir no. Sir that two by two. Sir it is five by five could be available. That two plus three that is five. Yes sir no. Not the previous one two by two. Two by two represent the immediate preceded activities of A. A ka time either given hai. That is time completion time is given two. That's why I write two by two. Is it clear? Okay. Achha. In case of B. That is the completion time is given three. So in case of C, it is given three. So in case of three, the third node is represent two plus three. That is five by five. Is it clear? So five is the. Well, so denominator will be the same as uh, numerator. Yes, so yes. Last yes. start time or last to the last last to finish time. Yes, yes. Latest. Y F T by L F T. Ha. Latest. Uh, sorry, that is latest start time plus latest finish time. That means two plus three. That is five by five. Is it clear?
yes or no sir 5 mane 5 by 5 kon pai hela 2 plus 3 a ka kitna hai completion time 2 hai and c ka completion time 3 hai 2 plus 3 5 by 5 okay okay sir okay the next one is from c to d c to d is given d ka kitna hai completion time 4 so i write 4 here that means 5 plus 4 that is 9 by 9 is it clear yes sir yes sir okay then moving to the next uh, immediate procedures that is b to e sorry uh, b to f and e to f then b to f is uh, that is given b to f is given how much and e to f is given how much that is 6 hello yes, yes sir. sir okay so in case of uh, calculating the d to e first that is 9 plus 7 that is 17 Is it clear? Then nine plus eight. Ah, nine plus eight equal to seventeen, na? Nine plus eight is equal to seventeen. Is it clear? जीरो <laughs> the next one from a to b a to b is given and a to c is given from a to b that is 3 is, is given in case of completion time and a to c the completion time is 3 given so i make the arrow from a to b and from a to c is it clear sir why because predecessor is a immediate predecessor is a why it is given in the data tables as far as concern with your data tables whatever data is given you can proceed your network diagrams according to the network uh, according to the procedures uh, or immediate procedures so here we have the data is given from a to b and a to c so from a to b in case of uh, that is the completion time is given 3 and again from a to c the completion time is given 3 so in case of uh, drawing the network diagram to calculate the critical path you have to choose the maximum or longest path so that's why i have mentioned a plus 3 that is 5 in case of uh, uh, the finish of, of uh, event 3 uh, then next one is from d to sorry then c to d from c to d that is uh, the uh, completion time is, is given 4 that is 5 plus 4 is 9 the next event i have write 9 by 9 moving to the next one from d to e D to E is given nine plus eight, that is seventeen. So that's why I write in case of events or in case of node five, seventeen by seventeen. Moving to next one, B to yes. Sir, seventeen yes. by seventeen. जाकर ए five by five भी तो लिखी होगा कहीं कि ना सपोर्ट है two by two. ये B three अच्छी मन है. अब बड़ा मैं five by five. Try to understand that that is why I have detected the forward path in case of calculating the critical path. in that case you have to consider the maximum in case of forward pass backward pass the minimum sir na minimum minimum exactly so in this case you have to choose the maximum one got it rodelin sir maximum one ta kemti choose kariba ko ko ta maximum bolli This is the longest path, na? The longest path. If you go to the longest path, automatically the completion time will be increased. That is the longest path. If you go by A to B and B to F and F to G, 
this is not the longest path if you go through a to c and uh, c to d and d to e and e to f and f to g this is the longest path if you go to the longest path in this case the maximum uh, value should be considered is it clear yes sir now it is clear to all of you yes sir yes sir okay i repeat in case of a there is no precedence that's why i written zero in case of uh, a to c and a to b the completion time is given 3 and 3 in case of calculating the critical path you have to go go by the longest path which which lead towards maximum values so that's why i directly go from a to c that is 2 plus 3 that is given the next node is 5 and uh, the next one is c to d that is uh, uh, sorry 5 uh, and uh, from uh, c to d that is 4 is given 5 plus 4 that is 9 again from d to e that is 9 plus 8 that is 17 the next one is from b to f and e to f e to f is given 7 that is 17 plus uh, 6 that is 23 and the next one is f to g that is given 2 uh, in case of completion time that is 23 plus 2 that is 25 by 25 is it clear sir ready both precedence achhe na jo b to e to f jo achhe seta b e to f submit that's why that's why i am telling in case of forward pass you have to consider the maximum value to get the maximum value you have to go through the longest pass suppose i go through the go through a to b that means 2 plus 3 that is 5 then 5 plus 6 11 and 11 plus 2 that is how much 13 uh, 13 acha total mein Yes, yes. If you go to the next path by A to C and C to D and D to E and E to F and F to G, you can get twenty-five. This is the critical path. Is it clear? Yeah. Yes, sir. I thought Then, the previous one only. No, 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 no. You have to go for the longest path, which provide the maximum value in case of drawing the critical path. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Moving to next one, you can see. This is the path from A to C and A, uh, C to D, D to F, F to G, and the values are in case of A the completion time is given two, in case of C the completion time is three, in case of D the completion time is four, in case of E the completion time is eight, in case of F the completion time is six, and in case of G that is two. So if you calculate the critical path, that is twenty-five. Is it clear? Sir, B is the ratio, ni? and that's why i am repeatedly tell in case of critical path you have to choose the maximum number of nodes in the previous diagram if you go for a to b or b to c or f to g the total completion time is 13 13 uh, uh, you can say it is 13 weeks but if you go for a to c or c to d or d to e and d e to f and f to g the total completion time is 25 So this one is known as your critical path. In case of critical path, specially reference to forward path, you have to choose maximum. To getting the maximum, you have to go through the longest path. Now it is clear. Yes, sir. Clear. Okay. Try to solve another examples. Just a minute. Okay, you only draw the network diagram by using forward pass. Here the activities are given from one to eight, and uh, that is denoted from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and the second row belong to the immediate precedents, and their respective values are given. Try to draw the network diagram. Slide is not visible. Just, just a minute, just a minute. Now it is visible. Okay, I repeat. The first one is the serial numbers. The second row belong to number of activities. The third row belong to immediate precedents, and the fourth row is the completion time is given. Try to draw the network diagram. I repeat. first row belong to serial number of uh, activities second row the name of activities third row belong to your immediate precedents and the, these are last row belong to your completion time
सर से जो ऊपर वन टू थ्री फोर सेवन एट देगा कहीं की सीरियल नंबर ओके सर फर्स्ट रॉ बिलोंग टू सीरियल नंबर सेकेंड रॉ बिलोंग टू योर एक्टिविटीज नेम दैट इज ए एक्टिविटीज बी सी डी एंड थर्ड रॉ बिलोंग टू योर इमीडिएट प्रिसिडर्स एंड द फोर्थ वन बिलोंग टू योर कॉम्पलीशन टाइम do not calculate the critical path you have to just draw the network diagram only i repeat do not go for calculation of critical path just draw the network diagram Yes, anyone? I finished that one. संजीव कुमार विश्वाल आर यू देयर प्रत्युष परिडा ऋतिका मानती हैव यू फिनिश दिस नेटवर्क डायग्राम no response samit padhi are you there yes sir have you done the network diagram no sir okay i will show that so how to draw this network diagram so this is the network diagram you can see in case of a activities there is no preceder is given you can see in the tables okay so i just write a here and from a to b you can see in the next uh, second column from a to b so i make the arrow from a to b the next is b to c b to c then again b to d b to d and the next again in case of fifth column c to e and d to e and the next one is from uh, column number 6 e to f e to f again f to g and g to h and h to i just draw the network diagram as per the given data sir yes b to a tapar achi c to b b to a kahan pe hai फर्स्ट तो सर ए ए पर किछि नै स्लैश अछि तापर बी टू ए अछि तापर सी टू बी अछि रोजालिन बेटर यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सेकंड रो इन केस ऑफ सेकंड रो देयर इज नो प्रिसिडर्स इज गिवन सो दैट्स व्हाई आई राइट ए द नेक्स्ट वन इज इफ यू गो टू सेकंड कॉलम ए टू बी ए टू बी डायरेक्शन इज गिवन एरो डायरेक्शन इज गिवन और एक्टिविटीज व्हिच डिपेंड थ्रू द एरो is it clear yes sir then b to c this one b to c then again from b to d is it clear 
sir. Then if you go to fifth column, that C is connected to E. Again, D is connected to E. C to E and D to E, and the rest are in the sequence manner. That means E to F and then F to G, then G to H and H to I. Is it clear? Yes. I repeat. Whenever you go for network diagram, you must consider the precedence di uh, tables. So here in this given data tables, the first one belong to activities name that will start from A to I, and the third rows belong to your precedence tables. In the precedence tables, in case of A, there is no value is given, but in case of A to B, the value is given too. So I write here too. Clear? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Moving to next one. Try to solve this one as much as quickly. Sir. Next one. Yes. Ah, uh, sir. Bibi da sir has texted us to join the class. Okay, 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 okay. So here I conclude this session. So join immediately. Okay. I just forget about this. Okay, so thank you all. Uh, we'll continue this network diagram along with some numerical in the upcoming classes. Uh, thank you, thank you all. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.